Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today I've uh, went shopping, as we normally do, and stock up on the freezer. So we live in Sherwood, and the best Iceland for us is in Hucknall, only a few miles away. And um, the ones in Arnold are too busy, horrible experience as well. You, you need to go to the slightly quieter ones, although none of them are quieter that at the moment. Anyway, around the corner is one of my local breweries, uh, Lincoln Green Brewery. Always wanted to visit them, and one, I wanted to see the brewery itself, but um, at the shop. So today I've been and got a load of beers from them, and uh, that's Lincoln Green Brewery there, one of their beers, Sherwood. Although I think I've actually reviewed that already. But hey oh, 30 minutes left on the battery. So then, but they're also doing, so I bought a load of bottled beers, uh, some that are out of date at a pound. Does me, I don't mind. And um, they also put on the website yesterday, they do this video most days. So if you go on Facebook, you see the bloke doing a video and he talks about what, what, what they've got. And uh, look at the bloody bottle. I couldn't find a marker. So I've cleaned out the bottle, sterilised it. It looks manky, but trust me, it's not. Um, so I've put some tape round to get the, uh, the pint mark on it. Because obviously they're selling pints of, for £2 a pint, Spring Green, a 4.3 lager style pale ale. Preserve, a 4.7% Damson Porter. An Expressive, a 4.5% coffee style, coffee stout. Available in today and tomorrow. And I thought, I'm going down. Got to go down. So, I'm not sure if I've got the stout or the porter. Obviously, because they're both dark. This is the Damson. 4.7% Damson Porter. Now, so, it's actually a bit more than a pint. Oh dear. Bless you. Um, I can smell disso on the bottles because I've come back and I've had to disso them. You know, anything you're bringing into your line of um, your house, you have to wipe down or disso or whatever get that antibacterial on so look at that lovely black colour obviously if it had come out the pump at the time it would probably had a head on it it is what it is you buy it on draft like that it's going to be a bit different if you bought it into one of them bags that they do beer in a bag it would then probably have a bit of carbonation in there so something to think about um, Let's have a drink first, make sure, I'll make sure I've got the right one. Where's that one? I'd have better. Here we go. That's the coffee. Got a bit of, bit of a bite to that, that has. And I've got to do all three reviews today. That's why I only bought a pint. Didn't want to be buying four or five pints. Now, the, yeah, the great thing is, you can take your own containers, as long as they're washed out, sterilised, you know, because you're drinking it. Uh, so you can take milk cartons, two pint, four pint milk cartons, because you'll pay per pint. Um, unless you did what I did and you marked it out. So that's something to think about. So this is the Damson Porter, just needed to be clear. It tasted the Damson, but I didn't want to get it wrong. So. Oh, that's nice. If you've had Poacher's Choice, which is a Damson flavoured beer, um, Cranbourne Poacher, whatever they call it now, um, this will be right down your street. Slightly 4.7, around about the same sort of strength, I think. Nice and lovely flavour to it. Yeah, so I don't think they do deliveries, um, but you can go on Facebook and on their website you can see. But they've certainly got the shop that's open. So anybody living in Nottingham, 
And as long as you're not travelling too far, you know. And it's, it's on an industrial estate in, in Hucknall, uh, Wigwam Lane off there. And uh, yeah, there are loads of people queuing for the beer. So it's good, it's good to see the, the brewery staying, you know, doing what they can, like all breweries. You don't want anybody to go under, it's not, this day and age, it's frightening. The future's shit scary enough. But now I know where it is now. And, and uh, lovely, the lady serving was, was really nice, really knowledgeable about a beer as well. So she, you know, some people are there, the salespeople, they know nothing about what they're selling, which does happen. And no, but she knew, and we talked about a buttermutch. Buttermutch is a butterscotch flavoured beer that I absolutely love. And this, wow, damson, not far away from that plummy taste that I like in, in you know, Titanic Brewery's Plum Porter. And uh, oh dear, this is nice. There needs to be more of this. Let's be fair, £2 a pint for draft beer is not a bad price. And uh, saves chucking it away, doesn't it? I mean, we don't want to be chucking beer away. It's sacrilegious. All these breweries, and, you know, bottle that, bottle that stuff up. And I think, I personally think all breweries ought to have a thing where use, the, use pubs as off licences. You go down, and as long as your containers um, have been washed out, and you, that's up to you. Uh, don't go down with half a litre of milk in and then... <laughs> but uh, I washed it about four times and uh, I mean it don't look like it's been washed, it looks manky but it, is, it has been washed. I have to drink it, I don't want to be drinking and on the toilet for an hour. So, definitely getting that damson taste. Um, a nice malty fruity backbone to it as well and it's going down a tree and the thing is for me I like new beers and preferably cheap beers so going to a brewery shop can you imagine if they had 10 different beers a couple of quid a pint you know and uh, you've got all your containers there. Can I have one of each, mate? Bloody hell. Brilliant. Good for them. They make cash. Good for me. I get review stock. And uh, yeah, I've got to drink it all in one go today. It's a tough job, isn't it? You know, it's a tough life, but... Oh. I mean, I did it when I went to Sadler's Brewery. I, when I went to theirs, I bought some beer back in, in containers because I wanted to... I couldn't get it uh, in, in bottle form. So I wanted it to be able to review it. And obviously, the pubs will be open again soon. And this fellow will probably no doubt be back in the pubs. I've never seen it. I mean, my lo one of my local pubs that we love to go to, and we're a meet up with my old Sainsbury's workmates, uh, is um, Little John Robin Hood in Arnold. And it's a, gr this is a Lincoln Green pub, obviously. And they have about 20 different cascales. Uh, not just from Lincoln Green, from like Everard and all over, lots of other pubs, uh, Titanic as well. And uh, the atmosphere, you, see, you need to get, take your dogs in, and that's great, you know, taking your dogs into a pub, as long as they don't start fighting or shitting. But uh, <laughs> imagine that. Ooh. But anyway, yeah, and they've even got a dog bear. I got there one night, and there's dog bear, and I'm thinking, dog bear? No, I've never heard of dog bear. And uh, anyway. But got the picked a bottle of that up, took it and gave it to the dog. He loved it. He did whopped it down. So, <laughs> but yeah, the atmosphere in there is brilliant, brilliant pub, and uh, that's to me that's the and they are also like, they have take homes like this in two four pints uh, take homes. And for me, you want to keep your pubs open. It's, that now has got to be the way. Use your pub as an off license, offy five or six hours a day. Uh, have it outside, say, look, this is what we've got, mate. I'll go and pour you it. Bring your own containers if need be. A couple of quid each. Uh, and obviously you'd have to have a card reader because you don't want to be handling cash if you can. Brilliant. No. Maybe I ought to open up my beer room, uh, uh, sell wine and uh, that. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Right. Maybe one of these days. Have a bigger garden.
in a portable toilet. <laughs> or sit out in the garden and you know have it as a little micro pub. Yeah, the only problem is people aren't allowed to come to your house, so ah, that kind of kills that conversation, doesn't it? But anyway, back to the beer. Ten minutes. I do rattle. So if you've never watched my reviews before, you'll notice that I rattle. The thing is, if I haven't got anything nice to say about the beer, that's when you know the beer's not a good beer. Or if it's absolutely disgusting. There's been only one or two beers out of the thousand or so beers and wines and that that I've reviewed that have been utterly awful. But luckily, not this one. Now my palate's getting used to it. That fruitiness really comes out. So that's a really good fruit beer. Um, I would say slightly above uh, Poacher's Choice. It, uh, it's got a slightly nicer taste to it. Poacher's Choice is a very good beer. No, don't get me wrong. But this has got a lovely taste to it. And I've still got some more. Because he poured me a bit over a pint. Good lad. That's what I like to say. Looking after your fellow beer drinkers. Oh. I know this lockdown is horrible, horrible for a lot of people. And I do understand it. A lot of bored people. A lot of people struggling. But for me, it's been blooming brilliant. When they said you're staying there for three weeks, I'm like, yeah! <laughs> You know, when it comes to the end of it, I'll be so pissed off and disappointed, but uh, that's the way it is. But don't think for one minute that when it's over, that social distancing won't stay. They'll open pubs up, they'll open restaurants up, you will have to social distance unless you're in the same from the same family unit. It will happen. But in the summer months, there's a good time to use beer gardens. And actually, it's a good time to have gazebos and shit like that. Uh, big gazebos so people can sit there and get the beer, go into the toilets. Oh, you have to wash, make sure you wash your blooming hands a bit. I mean, I'm still surprised more breweries haven't gone the sanitizer route because it's, it's a good route to go. Not only brew your beer, brew your spirits if you can. And I think brewing spirits is a cracking idea. And all breweries need to go down that road, I think. And as long as the spirits are at a price, which is good, because some do. £40 for a bottle of gin is steep. You know, you, you price it at a good price. You, if you're even using plastic bottles. You don't have to put it in bloody glass. To sell it from the brewery. Gin in, and that in plastic bottles. It's got to be the way, isn't it? And... Uh, but a sanitizer as well. Go to your local brewery, you get all your beer, you get your sanitizer. Happy days. The pain will be over soon. I do apologise. I do rattle. It's, uh, it's about the only time I talk. Don't talk to the bar. It's in the dressing. Oh. So. Breakdown time. On the nose, nice fruity on the nose. Obviously, it's damson on the nose. On the taste, um, damson again. Bit of malt in there. A lovely fruity taste. A little bit of earthiness in there. And uh, as you can see by the colour, it's like a, like a really dark chestnut colour, isn't it? I'm shit with colours, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> I know the normal colours, it's just these like, weird colours. But yeah, um, great on the nose, great on the taste. That damson really comes through lovely. 4.7%, yes, it feels like it as well. It feels a bit stronger, to be honest, but um, it goes down a tree. Um, if I could have afforded to buy, because obviously on the budget, um, I'd have bought more of this. And if I'd have known it was that good, I'd have bought more. Whether they've got any more, coming in that's something that if you live close enough you know um, make sure you get down there and get it while you can and to Lincoln Brewery if anybody watches this I don't know if you do or don't obviously I don't know if anybody watches my videos yeah, I just like talking to a camera 
you know. But uh, anyway, Lincoln Brewery, more of these please. And uh, it's a fantastic idea. I think you should have, if you can, I don't know, obviously the logistics, but if you have four or five beers, different beers, every couple of weeks, while this rubbish is going on, you're going to make some big sales. Fair play to you. So, for a beer that was £2, from uh, a draft beer that was £2, that was really, really nice. Um, the taste is a lot. Still in my mouth now, the flavour is bloody gorgeous. Out of five, 4.55 out of five. Close to being one of my top 10 beers, you know, top 10 rated beers. That's a, a beauty. Um, it'd be better, obviously, if I'd managed to drink it and did a review smack outside as, as, it's, uh, as, I, as it's being poured. But I'm not, stood, I'm not being stood in the yard talking to a camera in front of a load of people who think, what was that dickhead doing? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, see you soon. And stay safe, obviously. Thanks. Cheers.